is me. Tis I, <laughs> Jennifer Star. Just wanted to uh, say hello and just talk about something that grinds my gears. Kind of annoys me. So let me just say this first of all. Oof. Okay. Anything to make sure I'm not killing myself out here trying to drive and talk to y'all at the same time. But I love Jesus. Okay. Now, I don't expect everybody to feel the same way because not everybody does. I don't like that, but that's not something that would make me hate someone, you know, or belittle someone or make me feel sorry for someone. I would love for everybody to love Jesus like I do, be a Christian like I am. But that's just not going to be the case because God granted us free will. So, you know, there's, there's no true forcing anybody to try to become a Christian. And I've never been that kind of a person. I know there are a lot of people like that. But I kind of wish people that feel as if they need to stuff Christ down someone's throat <laughs> to make them become a believer I, I just don't like that I don't like that I like people to come to them come to him as well as you know people to pray for these people plant the seed let people see that you are a light in you know different situations and they can find try to find out what's that in you that makes you tick that makes you stay stay as positive as you can be in such a horrible situation you know stuff like that but you know that's not everybody but when other people I think have had the worst <sighs> worst, uh, worst uh, situation or experience with Christians I, I, it just makes my heart weep because you just turn people, excuse me, not you, but they just turn people away from a loving God when some people aren't as loving. Does that make sense? Oh my gosh. That's just like the ultimate thing that gets on my nerves when people, I know people talk about being too preachy, too saved, to all of that. But all I do, I just try to live my life through him. And I believe when we continue to try to be like him, I know we never will. No one will ever be perfect. But all we can do is just continue to try. Try to do right. Try to uh, have faith in him when things seem like they're going awry. Try. But whatever. I'm going off on a tangent. Paul, please, let me get my thoughts together. Oh, yeah. There's this uh, YouTuber that I watch that doesn't necessarily, apparently didn't have a, a good um, experience with Christians. And that person just has just one stereotypical view of Christians, which I, which I wish was not true, but, you know, just being very hypocritical, you know, saying one thing, yet doing the same, um, you know, you say, like saying to a group of people or your children that you shouldn't be having sex before marriage, but not being real with them, saying, I did the same thing, but I know you can do better. Rather than saying that, just acting all holier than thou, as if you've never done anything in bad taste or anything wrong in your life. That, oh gosh, to be honest, I don't even like that kind of a Christian. Because when you stop acknowledging that there is some wrong that ha that you've done or that you're doing I, I don't I don't believe you're really telling yourself the truth if you don't believe there's any reason for you to ask God for forgiveness every single day there's something kind of wrong you know even there's even thoughts 
that are impure that may not be what they're supposed to be. At the end of the day, all I'm trying to do is be a better me. And not every Christian is like that. It just irks me to hear someone say, all these Christians are dot, dot, dot. Or all these Bible thumpers are dot, dot, dot. I mean, I'm amazing. Like, why would, pe why would people just group everyone together rather than saying this and being specific? Or this person, or that person, or this Christian, or that one. Did you say all? Just generalize everyone. And that's, I just can't, I can't stand that. Because I'm amazing. I don't claim to be perfect. And I feel, just like in Proverbs, it, it, it talks about uh, the foolish man. And one of the things that they say about a foolish man, a foolish man won't ask for help. And I ask for help from the Lord on high every single day. I believe truth comes with you, truth with yourself. <laughs> when you keep it real with yourself, that just brings up your confidence too. Like I've always, I, I kind of had that trouble with going back and forth as to whether or not I was a good enough Christian was I bad should I keep the things that I feel and do away from my Christian friends because you know they may think that I'm not a good Christian I'm so happy to be 30 and old okay because when when that age comes you just start to not care because at the end of the day all I care is what Jesus thinks that's who I answer to. Not nobody in nobody's church. Oh yeah, my pastor. But nowhere else. No other person. But it just saddens me that so many people have had such a horrible experience with the church or someone saying that they're a Christian because I don't believe you're a true Christian if, unless you're walking in love with everybody no matter who it is mm. it's a rough one and you can't say it's not true because Jesus walked in love we're supposed to be more like Jesus right oh, it is what it is man I just feel like at the end of the day everyone deserves love no ridicule. Everyone deserves love. And for anyone that has ever had a horrible situation at someone's church, at the end of the day, no matter who the pastor is or who was the deacon, deaconess, motherboard that made you feel all kinds of a way and made you not want to go back to anybody's church, please know that that's not God. God doesn't make you feel less than. He fills you up. Please know that God is not in the tearing down of someone. God is in the building up of the person. Child, let, let me tell you a quick story. You know, for, uh, I thought I knew what love was from someone else other than a family member. I thought I knew, like, for sure until I read in the Bible where it says God is love. That right there messed me up. Because God is in me, which means God's love is already in me. And I feel like that kind of opened me up in ways that I never knew to love other people. as well as my, basically my husband. And love my friends more. God is good. And at the end of the day, I can only hope that I'm not sounding too preachy. But this is my truth. And that's all I can say. I want to send out love. Love, 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 love to you. Anyone 
that you have love for and your family. Every single one of them. I'm about to say in Jesus' name, amen. But <laughs> I guess this may be my prayer to you. That you got that love. Anywho, at the end of the day, don't let anyone dissuade you from what you and God have. I hope that you have a marvelous day. If you like what I'm talking about and such, why don't you follow me upon my YouTube? Let's go and subscribe and click in this region. And uh, if you would like to see any of my other videos, of course, it's under my um, whole uh, channel. And I have a great video right in this region that uh, you'll be able to see one of me and my husband's lovely mini movie reviews. Hey! Once again, have a marvelous day.